Well, in the first place, it was um, a pastor and a people that we've always carried in our hearts. Uh, I had um, five, four of the pastorates after Westminster, but there was a kind of connection at Westminster. I, we were young. Uh, the congregation was young. We had children. Our daughter was born there. Um, and um, it was a kind of energy in the church that um, was uh, thrilling. The church was in its uh, toddler, or maybe in its youthful stage at that point. I was remembering this morning that I was 28 and the church was 16 at that time, years old. Um, and the congregation sort of took me in under his arm and allowed me to develop skills and gifts that uh, had been imparted to me and I'd learned about in seminary. And uh, it was very forgiving and very gracious, but also very much a part of a shared life and ministry. Um, we have marvelous memories of our time there together. And so we moved there in 1977 and we left in 1983. Uh, my only regret is that I didn't stay longer. Uh, but on the other hand, God has his purposes and uh, um, um, the pastor who followed me did a marvelous job and built upon the, the growth that we were experiencing while I was there. And um, you have your sanctuary as a result of that. And, but I also remember working day by day with a great group of volunteers and staff members. Uh, but it was always a, um, a joint effort there at Westminster. It was never anything I did. It's what we did together that was so exciting and energizing for me. I think the key to the church's growth in all those years was the love of the congregation for uh, the church itself. What grows the church is not the pastor. And if it is the pastor, that's a problem because when the pastor leaves, there's a kind of collapse that takes place. Uh, but what grows the church is the ex excitement and love and devotion of its members. And these were young adults who were saying, I want to go to church with me this next Sunday, you know, and then they would come in, they get caught up in it, and they were growing. I do remember when we went to two services, uh, the reason for that was we maxed out at, um, uh, in seating at the early service and realized that if we didn't have other opportunities for people to sit down, we will be turning them away. And so there was some struggle over that. People said, well, we'll lose that sense of community. But we worked on developing that sense of community and uh, in other ways with the dine with nine groups and that sort of thing. And uh, really by the time I left there, the second uh, service uh, had begun to max out. We talked about expanding it. And I really wasn't the person to do that, I don't think. And that may be you know, part of the reasons that was, reason I was called elsewhere. Um, but that was wonderful. It was, it was great. Um, I, I will say to you that you can tell something about the nature of the membership of that congregation and that Mary and I, 40 years later or so, came back to Westminster when we retired, moved uh, to West Columbia, and were just so gratified to see so many people that we knew when we were there and to have been a part of our memory and a part of our hearts all those many years. Out of the ones that I've had, they're probably Westminster's the one that's been closest to our hearts and stayed right there, which is odd because, you know, I was only there six years or six years and a few months. We were, not I, we were. Um, but it has that kind of influence on, on people. And our experience together was so positive and so uh, gracious and loving and kind and all those wonderful things, you know. You know, I think that you have a wonderful opportunity before you there. I am so grateful that you're there, Chris, to give leadership to this church in a time of transition. And you've talked more about that than, than I can. But I think that the church is a strong congregation, people who love one another. We're committed to uh, the church continuing in its life together and in its mission. And I trust in, in um, envisioning a broader mission of the church into that community, which has changed dramatically. Uh, in the time since we were there in the 70s and early 80s. Um, but I think that it's a, it's a witness to uh, the grace of God and the strength of the power of the Holy Spirit in that congregation's life that you're still there. But um, that, that's what I would say to you all. Uh, keep it up. Keep going. And trust that the Lord has a purpose for you and that he will lead you into that purpose and give you the strength that you need uh, to do what he calls you to do.